A counter movement jump is a vertical jump and among the most often used tests for the maximal anaerobic power output of the lower extremities. It is an eccentric concentric muscle action that involves the coordinated extension of the torso, hip, knees and ankles. Based on the ground reaction force derived parameters, the dynamics of this elementary movement pattern can be thoroughly studied. Based on the comparisons of the squat jump and counter movement jump parameters, we can analyze some basic biomechanical and functional characteristics of the neuromuscular system. Enter the counter movement jump test module from the main window by clicking on the counter movement jump icon. Make sure you have acquired the subject's body weight beforehand. Consistently with the organization of all the MARS test modules, the interface is divided into a left setup panel, a right analysis panel, a bottom measurement panel, and the central signals and results area. Before starting the measurement, appropriate input parameters must be determined in the setup panel. These are lower extremities, where you can choose among the following. Bilateral jump, jump with the left leg, or jump with the right leg. And upper extremities, where you can choose among hands positioned on the hips, freely positioned, crossed over the chest, or positioned behind the neck. To start with a measurement, click on the New Measurement button. If necessary, the measurement mode can be cancelled by pressing the Cancel button. Before starting with the measurement, the subject has to assume the appropriate initial position, that is, standing without any flexion in the knees or hips and with his or her sight directed towards the front. The goal of the task is to produce an explosive vertical jump with a prior dynamic downward movement. Initiate the measurement by clicking the Start button. When landing, the very first contact has to be performed with extended legs and the feet in plantar flexion. This is then smoothly followed by normal amortization of the lower extremities. The measurement stops automatically after landing. It can also be stopped manually by clicking the Stop button in the lower panel. The measurement can be repeated by clicking on New Measurement, thus not saving the previous repetition. If you are satisfied with the measurement, you can save it. The central window displays the ground reaction force signal measured by the force plate. Markers are positioned automatically on the most relevant spots used for analysis. The initiation of the movement action, marked by the start cursor, is identified by a decrease in the ground reaction force profile. Takeoff and landing can be easily identified by the moment when the ground reaction force falls to zero and starts to increase again. The cursors positioned on start, takeoff and landing can be manually adjusted. Other cursors are adjusted automatically. If again automatic positioning is required, click Analyze and the cursors will be repositioned according to your settings specifications. If the cursors are repositioned, the new analysis can be saved as a new measurement by pressing Save. The data from the analysis can be viewed under the Results Table tab. The results parameters are divided into three main groups. General parameters, these include different velocity, acceleration, force, power and work parameters. Additionally, various time profiles and force impulse parameters are calculated. A more thorough description of the parameters can be accessed by right-clicking on the parameter name. Options for displaying specific sets of parameters can be accessed under the Parameters View menu in the right panel. For more information on this topic, 
please refer to tutorial 7.